Have you ever had moments where you're on your computer doing some sort of work and you're dealing with a lot of files and documents, but everything is so insanely cluttered, especially your desktop. It's just full of so many files because you have so many things going on. Now, if you tell me that doesn't stress you out, probably does subconsciously at least. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can get your desktop from this to this. When you keep things simple, nice to look at and organized, especially your computer screen, which you spend a lot of time looking at, keeping things neat helps against stress and overwhelm. So let's begin. Yeah, my name is Anna and my channel focuses on planning and keeping your life organized. If that sounds good to you, consider subscribing and hit the bell if you'd like so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. I'm also going to provide a small checklist that will help you stay organized when it comes to your computer desktop because it's just as important to keeping your space organized when doing a major declutter. Now let's begin. Oh, so we are on another user on my laptop because my original one is already organized and everything so I decided to make a dupe one so I can show you exactly how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is you probably have maybe a lot of icons or any icons on your desktop in general. We want to get rid of all of these and I'm going to show you where to put files. You kind of have to look at all your documents and see what needs to be deleted. So we're going to delete the shortcuts. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to organize all your other files. So we want to put them in different categories. So for example, we have pictures here. There's pictures everywhere, pretty much. It's usually not this bad. My original account was a lot worse. It was full of so many things. You can go to pictures and categorize everything. So it, it can be as detailed as you want. And then documents, I create another. You can organize them by work or school. Oh, and also downloads, always check if, you, if there's any files, PDFs, or pictures in your download section. Uh, or organize those into the categories as well. You want to create a, an illusion that your computer screen looks a lot bigger than it is. And I would press this, so show desktop icons if you don't want any icons to be there. Next, we're going to move on to the taskbar. Right hand click, taskbar settings. First of all, unlock the taskbar. And second, turn on this. It only appears when you need it to. Makes, you can already see the screen looks so much bigger. Put this as small because as you can see the taskbar has turned so much smaller. Now we're going to move on to uninstalling unnecessary apps. So as you can see the start menu is a absolute disaster. This is a lot of stuff that I don't need. I am going to uninstall some apps. So you go on control panel, programs, programs and features, and you have all of your apps and little thingies here. We're just going to th go through all of this real quick and see what we don't need. Next thing we're going to do is deal with all of this. So, so you see there's a lot of 
kind of unnecessary things, unnecessary buttons that I don't use. So we just delete all of these. Just unpin. Now we're going to add all of the apps that you frequently use to the start menu. Now for the wallpaper, you can either go to Google or Pinterest and find something that's very aesthetically pleasing. And now the next thing we're going to do is the theme colors. So as you can see, the toolbar and the start menu, they're all black and blue. So we're going to change that. I'm going to go for a light default mode. And with transparency effects. So we're going to pick a custom color as our accent. And the trick here is to pick a muted color. So instead of going here and picking a super bright color with a saturation or value on 100, it's just too much. It, it just looks really bright. So what I recommend doing is making the color more muted. So going somewhere here. So I have a light theme. So I'm going to go for 100. And I'm going to go somewhere muted here. Now the next thing I want to do is put a, a few custom things on it. So there is an app called Brain Meter and great for little custom widgets pretty much. So I'm going to show how to do that. So the first thing we do is we get rid of all of these. So right click, manage skin. Now you have all these little thingies here. So the welcome is this here. I'm going to remove that. So you click unload. Then we have the disks, the system, the clock. They're not very cute looking, so we're going to get rid of those. Now, and we're going to add a custom one online, so I'm going to pick one and come back. And I will link it in the description if anyone's interested in getting the exact same one. So I installed three different types, and now I'm going to install them. So. I just right click here and then open file lo location and now I'm going to install them. Every skin so to say has def different elements and pieces that you can move around so you can you don't have to have it exactly the way it's presented you can move a few things around if you want the weather to be on top right and the clock on the center you can totally do that or you can put them together in one corner it's all up to you but now i'm just gonna quickly see how i want it to look and you can all change things in the settings as well Yeah, so I'm finally done with my desktop and now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make this toolbar transparent so I'm going to leave a link to it in the description as well. Now 
Oh, and this is the final look. You can see the taskbar is also transparent. And we're done. Now, as I promised, I am also going to provide the checklist that you can use weekly and to organize your desktop. Now, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it to someone who would be interested in organizing their digital space. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!